Yes. So satisfying. I feel like a million should be more though. Maybe he's already weakened. Drive it home, Iron Fist. I'm a non-playable character this level. Uh -huh. They'll make it I love the game references. Me. I've been thinking of it as an RPG. Really, it's more of a simulation game. I'm the player, and I'll use all my little pawns to smash through the heroes. Rings. He's really focusing on this like strategy thing now. It's very different from how he's operating before. I thought I'd be able to inflict a lot more damage in the end, though. Turns yeah, you think with a number like a million? I seriously underestimated how powerful his quirk was. To be fair, so did I. I was thinking like after all we've been through with Deku, this guy would be light work, but he almost killed him. On top of that, it sounds like they're after some of us students. I have to let Mr. Aizawa and the Pussycats know that's one of the reasons they're here. Even though we've gotten this kind of attack before, this feels a lot higher stakes than the USJ thing. I think a great choice they made was taking out Aizawa right away because he's such a force, you know? It's hard not to feel calm when he's around. And also, we've established very clearly that All Might is probably not going to show up. So it really is just the students this time. And the villains are not just scrubs that were like hired from the street or whatever. They're like legit villains in their own right that this muscle guy is any indication. I may be injured, but I'm not defeated yet. There are more people I can save. <clears throat> Deku really took that example thing all the way to heart. With my arms messed up, my smash was probably weaker than it could have been. Okay, that's what I thought. That means my friends could be trapped by the flames. But we have hope. Your water core can put those fires Oh yeah, he's a water water user. We need to get you to camp fast. Are you sure you can carry me? You're all busted up. No need to worry. I knew he was going to jump. <laughs> I love how his, like, you know broken arm is flapping in the here. wind. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, he did mention Bakugo. And, uh, what's his name? Shigaraki had the Bakugo card. If it's a full-scale attack. Right, and he gets blasted. Blast! Now he dodged it, right? Nice move. Guess yes, the there we go. Not so fast. <laughs> yeah, bold of this guy to take down Eraser head-to-head. Stay back. This time I feel it's a little bit different though. Like, I would trust the students with a little bit more responsibility than in USJ. He's no ordinary UA teacher. What the hell? What? He's like a fire doppelganger or something? Everyone get inside, I'll be back. Put him to work, Aizawa. They can do it. It's important to mind your self-esteem, even on a perilous mission. Whatever, Twice. Just make another one of me. We need to keep those pros Oh, up. it's his quirk. Another small fry coming right out. Leave it to me. These villains have a lot of personality. Mr. Aizawa! Midoriya. You're here. Thank goodness. <laughs> yeah, that's the right response when you run into Aizawa. Feeling of relief. If this kid is running on pure you adrenaline. Protect him. I'll be back soon. Wait, Midoriya. No, no, no. You gotta work together. Go. But tell Mandalay something for me, too. But it's time to knock you off your false throne! Deku's still at it. Koda, he's safe! You found him? Did more than find him. I got a message from Mr. Aizawa. We need you to use telepath! How far does her, her range go? Could she broadcast their position to other heroes? They have to protect themselves. It's so cute. <laughs> go ahead and use your training. Yeah, I'll yeah. Take the heat. Oh, that's the message. That eraser had yeah, that's so satisfying. To engage in combat this is different this time. They've been through a lot. They've been through an entire semester of UA, which is like a lifetime in other schools. In the name of the pro hero eraser head, you are granted permission <laughs> to engage Damn, in combat. Damn, I love this rallying cry. What an honor. I hope you know what you're doing, eraser. He trusts in his students. Do not let this night be the end of your journey. I feel like he's just always so sharp and clear on what, what needs to happen. Just cuts right to it. What is it about this Aizawa interaction that's so satisfying? I guess it's a lot of trust that he's placing in them, which shows a level of respect for them, which is awesome. He's really tough on them, but he's paying attention. He recognizes their potential and like respects their ability to be a part of it. And I feel like he wouldn't make that call lightly. I feel like he wouldn't do that just because he was worried or felt like he was at a disadvantage. He does this because he really respects the class of UA, which makes it so satisfying from someone as cool as Aizawa, who is someone who commands respect himself. That's one of the benefits of living the way he lives, right? Like he sacrifices a lot of things he could have, the fame, the fortune, the chocolate, but because he's not doing any of those things that might be misinterpreted as opportunism or false heroism, you know very quickly that he's a man of principle, that you can trust him, and that he's a rock you can you can lean on. So for him to sort of open that, that, that door to others, to be part of his world like that, he's a really great leader. I think because he commands that level of respect, the respect he gives is somehow more meaningful. And it's so great that my feeling is that the entire tide of battle has been shifted just by him having said that. 
The only reason he's still going with those injuries is because of the endorphins pumping through his body. He's gonna be in a lot of pain. I sort of punched him before. <laughs> It didn't help, Koda. It didn't help. Got beat to a pulp just so he could protect me. It's okay. It's water under the bridge. He's never gonna get hurt more, right? Don't worry. He sustained those injuries because he has no intention of dying. Though, as his teacher, when this is over, I'll have to scold him for acting like <laughs> uh, Really? Principles are principles, I guess. The villains! I know one reason they're here. Huh? For Bakugo. Yeah. Could it possibly have been muscular? Don't tell me that little kid is more powerful than him. Yep, sent him right through the through the rock, through the mountain. He was on the priority kill list. Shigaraki's the one who wants him dead. Ah, uh, yeah, and he's the reason we're here. But that boy is someone Stain wished to save. Oh yeah, he's a true, he's a true believer, Stain Ever. About time I got a solid hit in. <laughs> Can't stop the boy, but I can relay his message. Yeah, I talked a lot of crap about the the, the pussy squad, but. They're really earning it. They're earning my, my love right now. Kachan, you should try to avoid combat. Yeah, Stick right. To a group. I hope you can hear me. Oh, he heard you. <laughs> I can take care of myself. What a, what a surprise. Don't rush into this fight carelessly. There you go. I love this tag team. It was really great in the movie, too. I mean, let him do his thing. Yeah. Well, I don't care what Get out of this guy's that. way. Yeah. Although Todoroki's really putting it on his back right now. Freak looks like a scrawny little sidekick to me. That's what I thought. I made that same mistake, but they're legit villains. Oh, me. Show me your exquisite Moonfish. Flag. We can't start fires around here because the flames will spread. Everyone could die if we aren't careful. Oh yeah, Baku's nerfed in the forest. This gas is moving really slowly. Normally it would spread out more, right? Is it a quirk? Or being influenced by a quirk? I think it's swirling around one source. They're leading them somewhere. If that's true, there should be someone who's producing the gas at the center Very clever. Story. Very clever. You're so amazing! I figured you'd miss the signs. That's why I came with you. Here we go. We got some Class B shine. And the denser the gas, the shorter the functioning time. <laughs> that means... Ha! We run headfirst into the center of the typhoon and punch whoever's there! He's a little one note, but he's not wrong. I mean, he'll come in really handy when it's time to do the punching. I can't say I don't like this side of you. Oh, 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 what is this? Can love bloom on the battlefield? Three. No, two people are headed straight for me. You can feel inside the gas? I should have expected Mustard. that from a prestigious school. I found you! They're still only human. Oh no, it's the most deadly quirk of all time. Guns. But Tetsu Tetsu's made of iron. What's this shorty's deal? And why is he wearing a school uniform? He's probably my age. Yeah. What, do you think you're the Terminator? Even if you can steal yourself, charging straight in is a fool's move. It's a distraction. Use your head. Or you're not worth killing. Oh, we found her. It's no good! I expected better. I'm reducing and controlling this gas, yes, but Yeah, he can feel it. All. That's actually really cool. You're shattering the image I had of your school. What a shame. <laughs> yeah, take that. Talking about UA like that. Brace yourself for another. <laughs> Don't they usually do How do you beat this? For people like you have simple one -note They're just lucky he's doing that villain thing of talking endlessly. Seems like he has a, a bit of a grudge. For people to fawn over someone like you. One trick pony. Just because of where you went to school. <laughs> That's what's wrong with this world. I see this guy shares my chip on my shoulder about education. But he wears a school uniform. Is he a dropout that never let go? Was UA his dream school? Everything is fading. What do you do? What do you do? I don't know. He knows where Kendo is. Oh no. I can tell exactly how you're She's a big hand. To the flow big the hand. Gas. Hit him with your big hand. There you go. I don't give a damn big hand. It seems big enough to block bullets. It's just flesh, right? I can still <laughs> Right, super, super waving. The gas got thinner, so I didn't realize. It's time for punching. Is this is what Tetsu Tetsu does best. There you go. Way to represent your school. <laughs> You made class one be one be very proud. If a gas user is wearing his own mask, there's only one thing to do: break it. Kendo's appreciating that one note right about now. He's doing the the anime run, but by accident. What the hell? With those injuries, you should be laid up in bed recovering. Oh, he saved him. But the attack triggered Tokiyami's quirk. Even though he was desperately trying to hold it back. Oh wow, is he is he rampaging? But that makes Dark Shadow aggressive and difficult to control. Yeah, this should be good. We'll have to face Dark Shadow first. Oh, oh, what? 
That sucks. I was hoping you would unleash it on the villains. No, don't end there. I want to see him. No! <laughs> well, that episode just flew by. The best part of the episode for me, amazingly, is just Aizawa talking. His character is sort of fascinating to me because I'm wondering what was it? You know, what was it that makes him so commanding and so inspiring? It's tough for me to fully put my finger on, but it's like there's just not one molecule of waste in terms of his ideals to action. And there's no talk from him without walk, if that makes sense. It feels to me like he has that kind of freedom I like in characters, where the motivation and the action is not done out of any sort of desire for ritual or custom or expectation or fear. It feels almost totally, if not totally, self self-generated based on realized ideas. He knows exactly what he wants, he knows exactly what he believes in, and he will only do things that get him towards those goals. And what's so refreshing about that is it allows him to sort of blast through a lot of the, the superficial barriers that you so often find in life and in society. He's unorthodox, and he's totally sacrificed all frills that would raise questions about whether or not he has those pure intentions. There's literally nothing he could get out of this except for those things, which doesn't mean that the other things like money, fame, status are, are wrong necessarily, but there's just no doubt with Aizawa. And also I feel like that sort of clarity allows him to appreciate and it allows him to love his students, which is maybe rarer than it could be or ideally would be. They're not his students or he's not bound by the superficialities of, of those labels. They're people who he wants to become better and he's going to do what he knows how to do to make them better but it feels like there's so much more to him and so he's able to allow them and trust them to use their gifts which is so cool and then in this episode there's also the the nice class 1b focus it's an interesting pairing of of tetsu tetsu and kendo who i guess are being set up as a romantic couple but it works and another thing i like about this episode i guess this arc as a whole is that this time we have an ensemble of villain cast who are actually cool. We've had really cool individual villains in Shigaraki and Stain, but this is the first time we've had a villain ensemble, and not only that, they have interesting powers and they stand out from one another and seem formidable. And not only that, they are they have personality and are sort of cast in, I don't want to say a sympathetic light because they're, they're not exactly sympathetic, but there are moments of real humanity with them, like they're goofing off with each other, you know what I'm saying? So they carry a lot of character weight in themselves, which is really cool. But yeah, we're left with this cliffhanger, and I should have known this was going to come up at some point, right? Because we've, we've had the preview of Dark Shadow being, you know, taken over and, and doing his thing. But I was really hoping, or I guess I still am hoping, that this is targeted at the villains and not not our friends, because it would be really satisfying to see Tokoyami kick some ass after his usual, like, polite self. But yeah, that's the end of episode 5. I'll see you guys next time when Bakugo ends nature. <laughs>